Hello YouTube, in this video I will walk you through the changes happened in the latest Oxygen Open Beta build for the OnePlus 3 and 3D. This is the build Open Beta 17 for the OnePlus 3 and Open Beta 8 for the OnePlus 3G. So here you can see I am using Oxynoise Open Beta 17 on my OnePlus 3. So let's go ahead and check out the features added to this new build. So this is the change log. First of all, this is the ambient displays there. So if we go to the settings menu, go to display section. Here you can see ambient display. So it was there already, but this time they have upgraded it to the 2.0, which means wake screen when you receive any notification and you need to double tap the screen to turn on the screen. So it will actually help you to avoid all these unwanted taps phone is inside the pocket it won't accidentally wake up so for that they have introduced the latest version so next to that you can see a lift up display so if you turned on turned on that one and if you place your phone there and then when you lift it up you can see the ambient display i will show you the sample here i'm just placing my phone on the table and then i'm now i'm going to take it so here you can see this is the ambient display so you can use the lift up display as well. So these are the two changes happened for the ambient display. And then sharing functionality for short on OnePlus. If you want to see that one, press and hold the desktop and go to wallpaper. Here you can see short on OnePlus. And you can see a lot of pictures which has taken using the OnePlus devices. And then updated here. So if you open any of the file, you can see a share button here. It was not there in the previous build. So this is a new feature, it's not a big deal, but still. And here is a new thing, it's the, we have a lot of fonts here, all new OnePlus font, and you can see the changes here. So if you go to settings menu, you can see an option called font, go there, select OnePlus Slate, and you can see the font is changed to a good font. This is the really nice looking font here, you can see. So that is there and then some improvements on gallery some improvements on recorder and some improvements on weather application file manager and other ui improvements are there like optimized management or foreground background process refined contacts import process from sim card and automatically add a corresponding country code when making calls during roaming and then at last is the latest security patch level to 1st May 2017 so while considering these new updates like ambient display this is a good update you can definitely go ahead and try it that's it guys thanks for watching please subscribe for more